Humanity has long had a love affair with the underdog. The fabled tale of David versus Goliath has often been used to describe impossible upsets in sports. Underdogs have always nourished the soul, giving us the belief that anything is possible, and that in a special moment of time, we can achieve anything beyond our wildest dreams. In the spring of 1997, a small college from Baltimore pulled off the near impossible. Meet a David named Coppin State. Coppin State looking to be the giant killers here today. Team of the afternoon, it'll be the Eagles of Coppin State, the champions of the BAC, as they get set to take on the SEC champs. They are the game Gamecocks of South Carolina. Once we got that draw and we seen our name with South Carolina, all we heard was what they can do. And what South Carolina was gonna do to us because they beat Kentucky that year twice. You know, that had guards like them and you know, they was gonna go to the final four. We were 17 point underdog. The day before the game, each team gets time on the floor with the media and the and crowd that can watch. South Carolina is walking in, and we overhear them talking. And they were laughing. They weren't really paying us no mind, talking about who, who was up next. But there was a, a bit of rage when I heard those guys over there laughing and joking like we were going to be a cakewalk. And he said, Reggie, let me give him something to remember for tomorrow. I just jump up tore my jersey off, and I just I just went bananas. It was like assault on the rim. To the point to where I thought it was Daryl Dawkins and the court was going to break down. Hey! Who do they think they are? This is what they want to do. This is how we're going to do it then. And, you know, it's, it's going to go down. We knew who they were. They didn't know who we were. Coppin State looking to be the giant killers here today. The first couple of minutes, our offense wasn't flowing. It was a lot of miscues. One not there, just didn't go after it. I know a lot of time teams in our position, 16 C, 15 C, they get down by 10, 12, 15, now the game is over. But we didn't get rattled. Rockington, quick for two. We said we'll chip at it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Well, it's a big time move, couldn't finish, went back and got it and got two. What the hell's going on? We're still in the game. At the end of the first half, it's 34 all. And they're in the locker room, I went to the bathroom, and I cried because uh, my mom had died. So when I looked in the stands, it was just my sister, my brothers. And the entire section of Pittsburgh was cheering for us. And I was just like, not letting them down. I can't let them down. We bring them home. Goes and gets him. And gets two. And here they come again. Singletary. Yes. It's 49 apiece with nine to go. Energy. It was crazy. We started believing that we really could beat these guys. Most people that know me, my offense was my defense. I didn't really play defense. Danny and Antoine just start going bananas. Right back to Singletary. Got it. He had this look on his face like. And I was like, Danny, Play. Back to Singletary for a good jump shot. Seems like he was taking a heart. With me, if I'm taking your heart, I definitely go even harder. I ain't gonna leave nothing left for you. Rocking to the loose ball, ditches it off, Lewis for two. I just knew we got him. What a play by Antoine Rockington. Last two minutes of the game were like, they quit. Look at their faces, they done. I'm the same now in winning this game. This fucking South Carolina out of here. Single Terry will take it. Got him! <laughs> oh my. 11 is the lead. And the steal. No bigger win in Coppin State history.
first team in MEAC history to win in the NCAA round of 64 it was just, like, incredible. It was indescribable. Always believe in the underdog, because you never know what's burning, what's brewing inside of them. You never count any player, any team out. It's one of those feelings you'll never forget, man. We will always be legends. Top